kind of made it up in my own brain. <laughs> um, I think that I liked the sound of bat flashes. I think it sounds like the music. It doesn't actually really mean anything um, as a sentence, but I thought it had like a slightly gothy, like feminine dark edge to it. The new album was recorded all over the place, but I actually I wrote all of the new album at home in my home studio, and then I would go out and kind of visit people and collaborate with different musicians and producers to kind of layer it up I guess. So I worked a bit with Beck in LA and Dave Sitek in LA and uh, two producers from England called David Coston and, and Dan Carey. I'd, and I went to Italy with Rob Ellis who worked on Anna Calvi's record and did some like choral recording, male choirs and crazy instruments and yeah it was kind of a very slow gathering process over a couple of years. Doing live TV shows just absolutely terrify me. They're like five, four and you're like ah, and then the pre I don't know the pressure's just so intense. I hate I hate it. It ages me like 25 years each time I do it, I'm sure. <laughs> I remember having to play a piano song live on TV and I just it was an award ceremony and I was just looking at my hands and they were moving and I was just like, I have absolutely no idea what I'm playing right now. I just can't even think about it because then I'll just stop. I'm having anxiety. Can we stop talking? <laughs> Personal style, I guess, is always evolving and changing. It's important to me because I think it's like a visual representation of how you feel inside. It's not about like labels or expensive cool things, you know, like, I think it's more about pick and mix attitude about intuitively what you're drawn to, what attracts you and just just kind of being free with it. I like my red boots. Red boots are good. This is what I'm into at the moment. <laughs> Living in Williamsburg was for me quite a long time ago before it kind of got so well known I guess so um, it was an interesting hodgepodge of people and um, I moved there to be with a boyfriend at the time and I really enjoyed my time there. It was kind of a sad time as well because we broke up. So I guess I associate Brooklyn and Williamsburg with like heartache. <laughs> but if I had loads of money, I'd live in an apartment overlooking Central Park and just pretend I was like old money and just sachet around in velvet and jewelry and just be a crazy old lady. <laughs> <laughs> The salad is calling me! Ah.